The proposed South Mountain Freeway would begin at the existing I-10 and Loop 202 Santan Freeway interchange. The new freeway would complete Loop 202 by replacing the Pecos Road connection and connecting the East and West Valleys through Southwest Phoenix. The proposed freeway would provide three general purpose lanes and one HOV or carpool lane in each direction. The freeway would follow the Pecos Road alignment and, as much as possible, use land currently owned by ADOT. The 40th Street exit and entrance ramps would provide access to homes to the north as well as a new retail outlet center planned for south of the freeway. Bus access to the 40th Street park and ride lot would be improved with an exit off the westbound on-ramp. The freeway would be elevated on an overpass at 32nd Street, allowing critical stormwater flows to remain unaffected. To provide an interchange connection from the freeway to 24th Street, the Mountain Park Community Church and a number of homes would be acquired. As warranted, sound walls would be located along areas of the freeway adjacent to homes. The height, location, and aesthetic treatment of the walls would be determined during final design and in coordination with the affected communities. Terrain affected by the proposed freeway would be blended into the existing terrain using landscaping specific to the region. In areas where the freeway would affect residential access, new streets or modifications to the existing streets would be included. For example, Chandler Boulevard would be extended from 17th Avenue to 27th Avenue. A main goal of the study team was to minimize impacts to the South Mountains. The South Mountain Freeway includes a cut through the western tip of the mountain range. The cut would be blended using vegetation and other treatments to match the natural surroundings. Six multi-use crossings have been identified in coordination with the Arizona Game and Fish Department and the Gila River Indian Community. The freeway would use approximately 0.2% of the South Mountain Park and Preserve, or 31 acres of the total 16,600 acres. Multi-use bridges would be built to allow pedestrians, hikers, equestrians, and wildlife to safely cross under the freeway. Access to the residential area west of the South Mountains and the V. Cueva Casino would be provided by an interchange at 51st Avenue. An underpass at Ivanhoe Street would provide access to the Dusty Lane community. 51st Avenue would be realigned to minimize right-of-way needs and impacts. A new road would be constructed to direct traffic to the interchange, reducing through traffic on the Gila River Indian community. In the Levine area, stormwater would be collected in a channel on the east side of the freeway. Large retention basins would manage the flow through the channels. Throughout the corridor, the proposed freeway has been designed to avoid important resources. The Dobbins Road interchange design eliminates impacts on historic properties and reduces impacts to planned developments. A modified diamond interchange would be constructed at Dobbins Road. In each direction, the off-ramp would cross under the freeway and connect to Dobbins Road adjacent to the on-ramp entrance. Stormwater would flow to the Levine Area Conveyance Channel and Salt River. The design of the freeway in this area supports a future connection with State Route 30.
The proposed freeway would provide a much needed grade separated or elevated crossing of the Salt River. The Salt River Bridge would be over 3,000 feet long and would allow stormwater and wildlife to pass beneath. North of Lower Buckeye Road, the proposed freeway is aligned along 59th Avenue. Access to businesses would be maintained via one-way frontage roads on each side of the freeway. The frontage roads and freeway would cross over the railroad, eliminating whistle noise and traffic delays due to trains. Near 59th Avenue, a new interchange would connect the proposed freeway to I-10. HOV traffic from the South Mountain Freeway would connect directly to HOV lanes along I-10 to and from downtown Phoenix. The existing 59th Avenue interchange would be eliminated. New access roads connecting 67th, 59th, and 51st Avenues would be constructed to facilitate access along I-10. The 22-mile-long South Mountain Freeway is a key project in the Regional Transportation Plan and would complete Loop 202, connecting the east and west valleys through southwest Phoenix.